Mmm. Do you smell that? Do you smell what is cooking? Welcome back again, guys, to my channel. You're in Dainsy's Kitchen. So you're gonna need green onions. Um, cutting up the vegetables, put in the pot. That's the scotch bunny pepper. Excuse me, this was a lazy cooking. I really wasn't um, in the frame of mind to use the cutting board. So I'm just cutting up my veggies and put in the pot. So that was the onion just now. And go ahead and let that saute. So you got the onion, the green onions, which is called scallion. In the pot, let it saute a bit, and after which, we're gonna go ahead and add in our mixed vegetable. Now, you see, I've boiled it a bit, I'm gonna strain off the water and then I'm gonna add it to the saute veggie. Oh, so today. We are looking um, after tuna in mixed vegetable with nice sherry, jasmine white rice, and some green peas along for our side. Okay. So you're going to put your mixed fats up in the pot. I mean, you don't put too much because you don't want to overdo it. So I just put an handful and, you know, just let the season combine with the mixed vegetable. And let that say for about two minutes. And then we're going to go for our tuna. And as you see, I'm using the bumblebee tuna in water. I've already strained it off already. Strain off the water, so I'm about to put the tuna now in the pot. Somebody please tell me why am I fighting with that thing? So we're gonna season up our pots. We're gonna add some black pepper. Yes, and going in that black pepper. Then we gotta add some Tony Creole seasoning. That is gonna bring such rich flavor to your tuna. And it also helps eliminate the salt. So you know once you add that it's well seasoned so you don't need no salt. And of course we're gonna go in with some ketchup, some nice ketchup and that also will um, help to ah, bring nice texture to the tuna so it's not too flaky, it just helps to bring all the flavor and the texture together and you keep stirring it, keep allowing you know, the flavor to blend After you finish seasoning up your pots, you're gonna add uh, 
the scotch bonnet pepper and just allow it just to simmer for roughly 7 to 8 minutes. You just want to have the flavor continue to combine and yeah, it's just 7 to 8 minutes and you're good. at all come back on here comment and let me know uh, those are some green peas that I have and I just have the green peas in my nice sides and I put some dry cranberry on top so yeah it's a nice complete meal Talk to this nice door, this nice bottle, this nice here. Talk truth, no comment, comment, man. Talk truth, this is beautiful. It nice here.